Hi guys, welcome to my tiny corner of the internet called a food space. My name is Aisha and I'm a baby food scientist. Well, your online baby food scientist. On today's episode of a food space, I'll be talking about what it's like studying food science as an undergraduate course in the university in Nigeria and what you should know before picking food science as an undergraduate course. <music> we need to know what food science is all about. Food science is basically the study and application of biochemical, chemical, microbiological, nutritional and engineering studies to food and food systems. Food science is the link between agriculture, nutrition studies and engineering to the human body. It's basically just learning the science of food. I mean, what food is all about, how it goes down in the body, and so much more. Food science is more than cooking. So yeah, before picking food science as the course you want to study in the university, you need to know two things, which are JAMB exam and YEC exam. The first, which is JAMB, that's the Joint Admissions Matriculation Board Examination. There are three subject combinations you can use for food science. The first is the regular science subject combinations, which is um, English, chemistry, biology, physics. The second, which is the one I used, is agriculture, mathematics, chemistry, English. And then for the third one, which um, is slightly different from the, first, um, from the second one, it's um, biology, chemistry, mathematics, and English. And biology just replaces agriculture from the second combination. This exam is very, very important to know the subject combination, especially for the school you are going to. Our subject combination will be based on what um, faculty your course falls under in your school. Because different schools have different uh, have food science under different faculties, such as engineering. Some have it in the environmental faculty, some have it in the agricultural faculty, and some have it in the sciences. And also, you should know that food science um, goes by different names in different in these different universities. It can go as food science. It can go as food science and technology. It can go as food technology. It can go as food and nutritional science. It all depends on your school. Now, for the second thing to note, this is your WIEC, that's your West African Examination Council's exam. You should note that you can always use the normal um, subjects, that's your normal science subjects. However, it is advisable for you to do one of these two, agriculture or food and nutrition. This is because these courses will give you th that basic um, foundation you would need when you enter the university, that is for your first year and second year studies. I did both food science and um, food and nutrition and agricultural science. And that was because I really, really wanted to be selected to study food science in the university. My personal journey to food science is a very, very funny story. I mean, when I entered senior secondary school, I didn't know what I wanted to study. I just knew I didn't want to be a doctor or a nurse or an engineer. In fact, I only knew that I wanted to be in science class. And that was because I thought sciences was just like what I watched on TV. It was that easy. I mean, imagine going to class and just doing a few practicals and getting an A+. plus. Who wouldn't want that? So yeah, when I got to SS2, my mom sat me down when I was preparing for one of my exams. I was preparing to go to SS3 and she asked me, what I wanted to study in the, vers in the university. And I told her I honestly had no idea what I wanted to study. I just knew I didn't want to be a doctor, a nurse, an engineer, or anything around that line. And she told me to give it much thought. And I told her microbiology, and she asked me why. And I didn't have a reason. I just felt that was it. Then she told me, Asked, actually, she asked me what I wanted, the things I loved doing. And I told her, and then she said, why don't you look into food tech? And I looked at her like, what's food tech? And then she told me that she heard of the course um, in university and I should read up about it and see if I like it when I read up about it. And I did. And I fell in love with the course because <clears throat> the YouTube videos I watched, 
the um, pictures I saw, everything I read on the internet was just giving me that okay vibe. And I felt as, I felt as though it was what I was destined to study. It just gave me that good vibe. I don't know how to explain it. So yeah, I read up on the um, course requirements. I read up on the universities offering the course and so on and so forth. While checking out the universities, I saw a lot of options. I saw University of Nigeria, Nsuka, University of Ilori, Bayero University, Kanu, Bowen University, Iwo, um, Bells University in Ota, Ogun State. I saw um, Federal University of Technology, Mina, Federal University, um, Oye Kiti, um, Kanu State University of Science and Technology, Maduna University. There were a lot of universities that offered this course, and I was like, how come I never heard of this course? Well, it's one of those courses that you wouldn't really hear people talking about because it's not the mainstream popular courses that people study. So I applied using uh, my jam subject combinations that I told you about earlier, which were agriculture, math, chemistry, and English. And I passed, thank God. I wrote my work and I passed as well. Then moving on to university. Now note, this is my personal story. Everybody has it different. And this is coming from the perspective of someone that chose to study this course in the university. When I entered the university year one, even though I read a lot about the course, I didn't um, check to know what I would be doing in different years of my study. So it came as a shock when I entered university and I started doing my course registration only to find out that I was going to be doing advanced mathematics, plant biology, zoology, um, mathematics, um, chemistry, and um, physics. And I was also doing GNS, that's general knowledge studies that we do in Nigerian universities. Um, Nigerian um, food industries, which was a very, very interesting course. I loved the course. And then we did um, food microbiology and some other courses. Now, I'm planning to go to year five and I can't wait for what's in store for me. So yeah, as for career path for food science undergraduates or food scientists, there is a wide range of um, options for us because food science is a multidisciplinary course, as I stated earlier. That means that it encompasses of a lot of courses. As a food science undergrad, as a food science graduate, rather, you can be a food technologist, you can be a health and safety inspector, you can become a food um, product developer, you can become a recipe developer, you can become a quality control manager, you can become a quality assurance um, officer, you can become a brewer, that's someone that brews things like alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks, you can become a teacher or a lecturer, you can even become a food toxicologist. You can be an expert in allergies or allergens. Um, you can become, you can further your studies and become a nutritionist or a dietitian. You can become a therapist, that's a nutritional therapist or food therapist. You can also become um, a food process or food production manager in a food production company. <clears throat> oh, as for me, I'm leaning towards looking at becoming a dietitian, that is furthering my studies in um, nutrition and dietetics, or becoming a quality assurance manager or a food allergy expert. I thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can learn more about what it's like being a food science undergraduate, things that you should know about food, history, and so much more. Bye.